Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris T and today I am going to be doing a mini review and demo of the Daniel Smith 24 set of extra fine professional grade watercolors. This set came with an additional metal box with 24 empty half pans to fill and customize yourself. In addition to that, in the actual set with the paints, it came with a printed sheet of each color swatch and the names of each paint color in the set. Despite this, I took my own cold pressed watercolor paper and decided that I was going to make my own color swatches. You can never get a fully accurate representation of the colors through these printed sheets, so I knew I was going to be making this no matter what on my own. And so with the color swatches, I went from the very top trying to use as pure of color as possible, only adding a little bit of water, and then by the bottom of the swatch adding more water. That way I could see all the values one color would give me. So this is going to act as my little cheat sheet whenever I'm painting to really see what each color looks like. And I even show you next to that printed sheet what each color looks like. And you can tell with like especially some of the blues, the color is not very accurate to that printed sheet. And I also show you my color swatches with the paint directly in the pans and you can see also for that you aren't getting the fully accurate version of the color since they're so saturated in the pan so like for a yellow it might look darker but in on paper it's actually a lot brighter so now on to the demo and for this demo I am using my Strathmore 500 series multimedia sketchbook and this honestly wasn't the best paper to use because again it's multimedia paper it's not dedicated watercolor paper which is totally my bad and so the colors did not come out as vibrantly as you would see on the swatches however I think this is a good testament to how well these paints hold up on different paper because even though the colors look a little bit more muted on this paper I do think it turned out better than a student grade paint would have looked like on this paper so the image that I'm coloring was just an image that I found on Pinterest I'll make sure that I post the image on the screen so that you can see exactly what I was working with and I like how it came out I used this like blue under color background just as kind of like a starting point so that I wasn't painting on stark white paper and I'm not sure because the image was actually a little bit warmer than this but that's kind of what I went with and before having this set of paint I've previously been using a set of 12 watercolor paints and so if you're newer to watercolors I would definitely recommend you start off with less colors a 12 set or even a 6 set would probably be really good because as a watercolor artist you are going to want to mix your paint colors yourself and so by having fewer colors it really allows your brain to creatively work and understand colors to mix them together to get the colors that you want. I think if you have too many colors to start off with, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed and using colors straight out of the tin, that's not exactly the proper value or hue that you want for your piece. However, if you are more of a seasoned watercolor artist and you wanted to kind of expand your watercolor supply, I definitely recommend this set. Again, the color payout was so beautiful and vibrant and saturated and I also found with these paints that when I mix a few colors together, they don't just get grainy and deteriorate as fast as some lesser quality paints would. Overall, I am super excited about this set. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If not, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.